Welcome fellow Clashers, it's your host Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Yes, we're talking about now, I'm going to cover several subjects today, but something is going on with this whole legendary chest, epic chest connection. Watch the screenshots on the right as I sent out a calling all Clashers on Twitter and people responded by literally the hundreds, hundreds of players showing that they received a legendary and an epic chest back to back and then I'm also getting a ton of tweets from people that are asking me, is the special deal, is it a good deal? That special value pack that's like $9.99, that sort of thing. Is it a good deal? Should I get it? How can I get possibly get the money to purchase this? And uh, that's where I wanted to reach out and just mention this program again. Now, I've said it before. I'm not going to push it hard, but Feature Points, it's an app where you download other apps, other games that are free, and you can earn points. And with that, you can earn gift cards like Google Play and PayPal. Use those to get gems or to get money and purchase the special value packs. It's just a way that you can do it by using the referral code Galadon. You also get bonus points and it also helps out the channel and helps me bring you guys more of those thousand player guaranteed card tournaments. So if you want to check that out, the link is going to be right here and down in the description. Again, make sure you use the referral code Galadon. But moving on, look at these pictures. So many players sending me this. And at some point, you guys, at some point, this does move beyond coincidence. I mean, I realize there's millions of players that are playing this game, but come on. I mean, it's crazy. I actually, here's the, here's the thing. I have not heard of anyone who has received a legendary or an epic by itself yet. Uh, let me know if you're a person who has received one without the other Let me know down in the comments below or on Twitter because I haven't seen that yet And uh, so my suspicion is growing that the two are linked now is this temporary is this permanent? We don't know but in any case right here the evidence seems to be incontrovertible Yes, it seems like every single person that gets a legendary gets an epic or vice versa So that's awesome to see now of course the free-to-play Gala Curse continues. I still have never received a legendary card and, of course, not a legendary chest, an epic chest, or even a super magical on my free-to-play account. So, please, let's end the uh, hashtag Galadon free-to-play curse. Anyway, at some point, maybe. So, also, you guys might notice kind of an unusual deck going on right here. Before this first replay ends, I just wanted to tell you this is the Gala Troll deck. Now, I've been using it both in ladder play and in tournaments or challenges, and it seems to work out pretty well from time to time. There are surprising results, and the thing about this deck that makes it so fun is that I feel like it's actually kind of surprising when I win like this. Right as time runs out, the Goblin Barrel gets in there, takes down the tower, and it's almost always either the Goblin Barrel or the Princesses that take the tower down and give me the win when I win. Uh, we'll go on and check out another replay right here. And on the right hand side, I will continue to scroll through the hundreds of tweets that I've received about this link between the legendary and the epic chest. So, you know, really for me, it seems like Supercell has kind of made it Christmas morning. Now, I again, can't confirm 100% that this is the case or it's always going to be the case. But like I said, I have not seen a single instance of the two not coming one after the other yet. So even that guy there, first he got one and then he got the next one. And again, exciting. Uh, I would like to see it. And it's definitely a follow through on making legendaries easier to obtain. With that many players getting them, I'm actually becoming the exception to the rule on Gala Don't Gem in that I've made it so far without receiving a legendary card yet. I feel like there's so many players that have level 2 legendary cards that are free to play, have multiple legendary cards, I'd just be happy with one. Seriously, just break the curse. Okay, I will stop complaining and whining, maybe that's the reason it's not happening. But again, the Gala Troll deck, you guys will see it again in the future many times. Okay, I'm having fun with this deck, when I lose I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. When I win, it's amazing. And I've beaten Sparkies with this deck, I've taken down uh, Hog Trifecta with this deck. I've taken out all sorts of different, even Royal Giants as you'll see, and of course regular Giants, the standard Giant meta, and I believe I did defeat one Giant Bowler, which seems to be the deck that gives 
the most people a difficult time. So at some point, I would like to get in there and talk about defeating the giant bowler. But again, this is up to you guys. I have always tried to kind of let the viewers guide where the channel goes. Would you like to see uh, more strategy videos, more amazing like world record type stuff? Do you want to see other games? There's definitely some other games out there that I've been trying out that I would love to put videos up about as well. And uh, in fact, there should be one out on the channel any moment, if not already. But I digress. So final minute of the battle, you can see again, it's that Goblin Barrel. And you know what's funny? Early on, when Clash Royale kind of first came out, the Goblin Barrel and the mirrored Goblin Barrel was like the thing. Like a lot of people were trying this strategy throwing the Goblin Barrel out there and then waiting, baiting out the Zap, the arrows, and then tossing in another one right after. It seemed to work so often. Now, it's kind of moved away from that, and maybe that's part of the reason that it's working for me is because players aren't expecting it. They're not prepared for it like they used to be. Also, this deck, despite the fact that it lacks anything like an arrow, fireball, Zap, it does have a ton of splash damage, crowd control cards, like the Goblin Barrel can even do it, but especially the Fire Spirits and the Princess with a Mirror card right there. So many opportunities for things like this. Goblin Barrel after Goblin Barrel, the Fire Spirits moving in and the Princess going down. She is going to finish things off. There it is. Once again, the Heroic Princess with the Overtime Victory. I love it. I'm having fun. It is kind of troll. I realize that and I apologize, but let me know what you guys think. Also, this will wrap up this episode about the epic legendary chess connection. Also, tell me about your experiences there. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the hashtag Galafam, and I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galigon, this epic is too short. There's no room for me to talk.